Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Stupid Coaching, where I will give you some tips on how to improve your gameplay at Apex Legends. If you are wondering why do you suck at this game and can't get past Bronze League now in Season 2, well, you can sit on your chair chilling out and blaming the team, because that's always their fault. <laughs> WRONG! You can improve so much and you can carry your sorry team's ass to great glory just by trying to do what I'm trying to tell you here. So, let's get to tip number zero! Because that's how you count at computer science loops. Let's start with jumping to far distances. Work it, boy. In the first <laughs> moments after you press the jump button, try to go full speed down until you hit about 145-150 speed, and then glide until the speed reaches 135-130. Then repeat, go full speed down until you hit the 145 mark. Then glide again until you reach the 135-130 mark. So you can travel to 1 km distances with no worries. Like me in this clip here. Try out and tell us how it works for you. <laughs> now to a tip number 0010. That's binary for two. <laughs> Use those lovely grenades. They can confuse the enemy so much, making him running more than shooting. Grenades and arc stars are just overpowered. They can inflict so much damage and can flush enemies out instantly. Unless they want to die like fried chickens in the oven. <laughs> so these are the specs of grenades. So if you don't trust me, you should trust this information from uh, apexdata.gg. <laughs> Now, let's jump to one of the most important common sense tips you should always set your mentality to if you want to be a winner. Tip number three. It's don't be greedy. Always revive your teammates or heal yourself. Then you loot because if enemies are around, you can use the loot boxes as bait. And in any case, those loot boxes won't run from the place you leave them. They have no feet anymore. Here is uh, what happens if you are too greedy and you don't revive or heal first hand before looting. See? You die! Like this guy that didn't revive his teammate in time and didn't heal himself as well, so he can take all the good loot first, yeah. That's what you deserve! Now, tip number four. Try to stay as close as you can to your teammates. Learn how to flank and how to position yourself during a fight. The level design is so well done that you will always have a cover point, a high ground vantage point, or ways to use your character skills so that you bring value to the fights and win them. Like here, I had high ground and also had a very useful ultimate of Mirage. So getting behind them was easier. Watch this. Got his sorry ass and also finished him so that he couldn't communicate my location to his friends. One more important tip. Tip number five. If you don't have a microphone, use the in-game communication. It is so well executed that you cannot fail if you listen to your comrades' pings or needs or the characters' voice lines when they are in combat. Close, close. One more minute. I need shields. Shield cell here. 
Syringe here. If you stood here until this moment, well, thank you very much. Now, some fast bonus tips for you if you watched until here. Number 6. Overthink your opponents and learn the sideways move like this one here. Seven, master two or three weapons so you know their recoil with and without attachments. I would suggest a sniper rifle, I prefer the longbow, an SMG, a 99 or Prowler SMG, and one LMG. I prefer devotion that has huge damage. If you are a shotgun type, you can switch between SMGs with shotguns. Uh, number eight, use a microphone. And one uh, number nine. Uh, why are why are you still watching this? Go there and smash those buttons and be the champion. Now I leave you with this last fight to enjoy a good ending screen. Uh, thank you for watching until this and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and whatever you want. Uh, uh, go out there and be the champion.